starting off my day but I thought I'd show you guys what I've been working on so I do have to get back to those dinosaur slippers that I was making for my daughter but I completely frogged the roving yarn blanket that I was working on and I have a bag of giant like balls of those yarn uh, in the corner and I'm gonna continue threading it we'll see how that goes but I did start using the other yarn that I believe I showed you from my haul. So I have these that I got during the Hobby Lobby yarn clearance. So it's the Yarn Be Feeling Chunky. It is a bulky weight yarn and it's 100% cotton. I got it in four different, well five, but I'm only using four different colors for this blanket. So. I've decided to go a different route to make my blanket for my computer chair. And ah, ta-da! This is what I have so far. And it's a decent size. I didn't make it too big. It's kind of, I guess, I think it's all on screen there. Just something to throw over my lap. I want to make it decently long, but I didn't want it to be too wide of a blanket. And I don't think I have enough yarn to make it very wide anyway. So I started with a chain, I don't remember the exact number, but I know it's in multiples of three and then you add one at the end. And once you do that, you go back, you double crochet into every chain, then you turn, and then what you do is, the pattern called for a treble crochet, I didn't really want to do it with too big of a hole in the... Um, in the blanket so instead I went with double crochets so you skip two chains and then you do three double crochets in the one space and then you chain one skip two chains three double crochets chain one skip two chains three double crochets chain one and so forth so when I first started with the gray, you can see I only have, let's see, I only have about, I have three rows, no, four. One, two, three. I have four rows of those um, three double crochets put together. I only did four because I already had the row of double crochet in the gray. Then with the rest of the colors, I've been doing five rows. So you can see in this navy blue, I have one, two, three, four, five. Then with the cream, I have one, two, three, four, five. Same thing with the orange, one, two, three, four, five. And then it's looping back to the gray. Now the gray, I'm gonna do five to continue the pattern. Like I said, I only did it because I didn't want the gray to be so thick at the end. I figured that double crochet kind of makes up for one of the rows. So that's all it is really. I'm just gonna keep going. I wanted a nice simple blanket to work on while I watch my shows at night trying to relax. Something easy that I don't really have to think about. I'm looking forward to the fact that this is 100% cotton. It is letting out some fibers as you can see that are floating around which is typical of any yarn pretty much. It's definitely an improvement from the roving yarn that's for sure. So. I'm looking forward to how this is going to come out. It's got a nice weight to it, and the fact that it's cotton, easy to maintain, which is perfect for me, especially if I know my daughter is going to want to use the blanket. As soon as she sees me ha having anything, um, she usually claims it for herself and wants it for the couch over there. We'll see. Um, but yeah, the cotton will make it very nice and easy to work with, and I really love how it's got a little bit of a sh of a shine to it or not a shine but it's not so dull it's got a little bit of a 
a sheen. You can really see it on the navy blue a lot. On the other colors, you can't really tell so much. The navy blue, you can see how the light kind of reflects off of that. Yeah, so that's my blanket. And my goal is that once I'm done with work today, putting the toddler to bed, um, I sit down with a nice glass of wine possibly, and work on her slippers. And I'll show you a little clip of that. See you later. All right, I'm back. So I was gonna show you more of the dinosaur slipper that I made for my daughter, but I didn't get as far as I wanted to get. So I pretty much just have the same stuff I showed you guys last time, the snout, the horns, and the frill, and then I made the second frill for the other slipper. I still have to make the body of the slipper, but I did buy a roll of this. So this is um, the grip that you would put, I showed it here, like on counters or like in cabinets to keep things from sliding off. Uh, in the slipper book, it shows that you can cut this in the shape of the bottom of the slipper and stitch it on the bottom to give yourself some nice grip, which I'm sure my daughter will need because she's running all the time. If you notice I'm talking a little softer, it's because she's asleep. Um, so instead of showing you more of the slipper, I'm going to show you this magazine I picked up. I just picked this up today at a Barnes & Noble. It is a... We Love Craft Simply Crochet Magazine, but it is the Christmas 2022 edition. Uh, this is my first crochet magazine. I've always stopped at the magazine shelf in Barnes and Nobles, looked at the crochet books or magazines, and I just never bought one. I never saw one that had several things that I would make from the book. Now, I finally got one that uh, I saw several projects that I would like to try. So the first one I want to share with you guys is this beanie. So I love making beanies and hats and scarves. This would be perfect to get rid of some of my yarn stash that I've been building up because I can just grab several colors and combine them into this beanie here. I thought it was really cute with the like the little braided area. I'm trying to get the glare off the page. There we go. Little braided area. Those colors themselves are really nice. And then on this side it has a scarf that kind of matches it. So I might make that set. Make it as a gift for someone. Oh and I did see some Halloween magazines with some crochet projects. But considering, considering we're already, what, in the second to last week of September, that doesn't give me much time to make much Halloween stuff. I'm in a bad habit of wanting to start stuff the month of, which in the crochet world makes no sense. You need lots of time, which is why I went for Christmas. So once I finish her slippers and that blanket that I showed you, start on something from here. Next up are these. Which I thought would make really cute stocking stuffers. So you take the ornaments and you crochet like this little wrap that goes around it and it kind of looks like a snowflake. I wouldn't make a whole garland full but I would definitely like maybe I'll like for a couple of people as a little gift on the side buy some plain ornaments and then just crochet around them. I think that would be really cute. Then Next up, we have this. This I'm going to make for myself for decoration. How cute is that? That little reindeer is adorable. And it's the yarn that they used is just a plain white, but I have that white that has like the little shimmer in it that I showed you guys that last time. I'm going to make one out of that. It'll probably stay on the shelf for. Well, not for long. Once my daughter sees it, she's going to take it down. This was another stocking stuffer or a little side gift that I thought would be really cute. So it's a snowflake that you crochet and put on a mug. When I first saw this, I was blind to the plant sticking out. And I thought this was a candle, which this would also be really nice for a candle. So I thought instead of making it for mugs, I was going to buy a couple candles for some people 
some nice scented candles and then crochet this and put it over the top. That would be another nice gift. And I like that these don't take much yarn so I can eat away at my stash a bit. This one, this one is also a cute shelf uh, creation. It's a little gingerbread man, which my daughter will also steal. Isn't he cute? So I definitely want to make the reindeer and the gingerbread man for myself. And I believe the last item I saw in here, did I show you, yeah, I showed you that. Oh, here it is. Alright, so the last one, which I also want to make for myself, is a decoration piece. It's a crocheted garland. And I've seen crocheted garlands before, and I've always thought they were really pretty. But the color combination they put on this one, I thought was really different and really nice. So I might try to look through my yarn stash and see if I have some colors to match. Just the fact that like it's kind of pastel-y looking, it gives it a nice like gentle touch to it. And I really like the like putting the light blue on the dark blue leaf or the dark blue on the pink leaves. That looks really pretty. But this magazine has a lot, a lot of nice projects in here. Um, I'm going to try to get to as many as possible. We'll see. I think I'm only a couple videos into my channel, but I think you guys can kind of see my speed here. So I only really get to work on it late at night. Look at like this. This is a blanket. It's a bunch of granny squares, and some of the granny squares have like mistletoe on them, which is really cute. See what else can I show you? This I I don't think I would make this, but well, actually, nah, I don't know. My sister loves cats, but we'll see. Maybe this will be her little gift. This is a little kitten hanging around a candy cane wreath. This is so cute. And it's got some little crochet Christmas lights. I like how its little tail is hanging there. You can see its little paws up here. It's really cute. Yes, cute is my favorite word. <laughs> what else? What else? Let's see. So I showed you that. Showed you that. Yeah, so if you're looking for some Christmas crochet ideas, I would suggest to pick up this magazine. It was $20 at Barnes & Noble. I don't know if it's cheaper elsewhere or if they have it elsewhere. But that's where I got it. They also have socks if you're into socks. If you're into crocheting socks. I haven't ever made crochet socks and it just doesn't... I mean, I can't say I never will, but it's not something that really draws my attention too much. But these are really cute, to be honest. I think the yarn colors are drawing me the most. So the beginning, I showed you that beanie and the scarf that had those same like orange and blue colors and they have several projects with those colors so i can show you see so that's the scarf that i told you i'd try to make then on the next page got the beanie that i showed you a slightly I think different angle and there's this which is really nice that scarf it's got like a bunch of bobble stitches I believe or puff stitches I thought that was beautiful looks cozy it's nice and thick with those puff stitches it makes it really really warm and then there is a cup cozy which I was on a roll making last year and I was selling them on my Etsy shop, which I've got to get back to my Etsy shop. It's been a little neglected. If it was an actual shelf, it would be covered in dust right now. But maybe, maybe for the holidays I'll get back into it. And then you've got these hand warmers in those same colors. And then the socks. 
So, if you have time to make all of that, that would be a really awesome gift for someone. If you made them all of those items in like a matching set, they can kind of mix and match on different days and it look really cute all together. Yeah, so just wanted to share this magazine. I'll show you the front again. It's your Crochet Christmas 2022 edition at Barnes & Noble. Oh, and they did have this on the inside, which I thought was really cute. I mean, it's just your basic um, Santa hats there. If you'll focus, you see the little, the little baby and his mom. They both have Christmas hats, and then she's got some Christmas mittens on. It's got these in there. Yeah, it's got some stockings in there also. It's really cute. I did not, unless I missed it. I did not see these guys, so I would make this. I gotta look through again. I don't think I saw those. Now that I'm looking, yeah, which is odd because I feel that if it's shown on the cover, it should be. Oh, unless it's advertisement for like another book where you can get that pattern. Yeah, because I skimmed through and I didn't see it anywhere. But then on the inside back cover, it's showing a picture of this book. Just Christmas Crochet, book number six by King, from King Cole. So maybe that's what it is. I'll have to look into it, see if they have the pattern for this, because this is really cute too as a decoration. But, yep, that's what I got for you guys this week. So, thanks for liking my videos. Thanks for giving me a thumbs up. Like, share, comment. I try to reply to any comments that people post to me. And click that bell icon so you get notified when I upload a new video. And I will see you guys next Wednesday.